Oi 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 guys, welcome back to a brand new hardcore video. Remember to like and subscribe, follow me on Twitter and let's jump right into the video. Welcome on back guys to our village and yeah, it's not much of a village yet But today we're kicking things off with this village project right here And the first thing I need to do for that is get a storage room in here So we can store all of the materials needed for the houses here So in this spot right here next to our little village breather I made another Gruben house and down here will be a storage room full of chests and beams and stuff going all around and I think it's going to turn out really really cool. But as you can see right now it's just a big stone wall right here so I'm going to clear this thing out and then we'll come back get in a bunch of pillars around here and then we just need to gather a bunch of wood and make all of our chests. So I've cleared out a lot of blocks now and as you can see my inventory is completely full and I also planned out a bit where everything will go in here and so basically what it is is on every cobblestone block as you can see right here there will be chests and overall the storage room is really really big so I doubt I will have to change it in the future. Now we have to gather some materials to detail this room out a bit more. Alright so let's get some pillars in here. So now let's make a nice archway design for the chests. So pillars and archways in place. I want to work a bit more on this floor. And I want to keep it simple, mixing stone bricks and cobblestone. So with the floor sorted out, let's keep going with the ceiling. Although very undetailed, the ceilings are in place, so I think it's time we add in our chests. So it has been a while guys. Maybe not for you, but for me it's been more than a day. And of course I haven't been playing Minecraft the whole time, but it took a really really long time to fill this area out with chests. And as you can see, I'm completely done with the storage room. I've also added some sort of uh, sorting system, or not really a sorting system, but I've categorized all of the chests. So here's just basic survival need stuff, here is dirt and stuff, here we got all of my stone, so just different types of stone. Then we have wood, and I really like this one because it's plants and stuff, which is really good to decorate your world. And then this is just furniture stuff, and I have a few empty ones, but that's fine because in the future I'll get a bunch of more items that I have to sort in here so this will be where that goes and yeah I also put a portal here because you know my other one that I put in the mountain it's really really far away it got to a point where it's just annoying to go over there every time you go into the nether so this is a lot better and I think it fits in quite nicely here as well and architecturally speaking I'm really happy with this room as well because I want it to look kind of like they just dug out a chunk of the hillside and then just put pillars up here to support everything and I really really like the floor I think these buttons are a really cool addition just to make it look like small little stones have gotten in here which fits in quite nicely now I had to take a bit of a break from the storage room so I decided to build up this nice custom oak tree and I'm really looking forward to building even more trees around our world so stay tuned for that.
anyways, next I'd like to sort out these two buildings because they function as some sort of gate into the village. I'll put a bridge or some kind of walkway up here and then some gate in between here. And that is so people can pay customs and stuff to access the trade market in here. So let's go ahead and build these two up in a nice time lapse and I'll see you guys soon. So for the next house I needed a lot of stone, so I quickly gathered that up. Alright, so we're back guys and I'm really really close to finishing up these buildings But as you can see they're a bit undetailed as you can see I don't have any windows here I still need to add a few more on this one So let's go ahead and detail these things up right now And I also think I need to light up this interior So I'm done putting in windows and shutters for them and I also made a nice little rose bush out here because I thought the house looked a bit too tall and this kind of just helps cement the building into the earth. It kind of grounds the house I guess you could say. But now to make this area look even better I think we need to get the paths going because as you can see this isn't really sufficient right now and we need these buildings connected up and I think I really like this granite feature in here so the more the path is used the lighter the color becomes so at the edges we're using coarse dirt then moving into some rooted dirt and then finally to the granite right here so let's go ahead and make some paths <laughs> Alright, so I added in a bunch of roads and we got some nice bits of detail like this hedge gate right here and the road continues up towards our storage room. I made this nice little retaining wall here. I'm not really sure what to put there but I'm sure I'll sort something out. Now though, I'd like to build a nice little well design. I don't really want a massive one so I think this one that I'm thinking of will turn out really really neat. So starting off with our corners here, we want four walls. One, two, three, and four. Let's place in some more blocks. And now we're extending this up with some spruce fence. Then we can place some trapdoors down. And some slabs. I think this is looking really, really great now. 
I think I might add another well design close to the blacksmith because I, you know, he would need a constant water supply. So that would be a pretty good idea to place the second one. And this one's also pretty small. So I guess the village would need a few more of them. I also moved this road over a bit to the right. So I could add in a nice little flower thing, just separating this house from the actual road, because I don't think the people living in here would like their windows just facing straight out to the road here. So adding a nice little flower garden in between just makes it a lot nicer i think but anyways let's add in a few more bits of details like carts and crates and stuff like that and i'll come back to you guys And we are back guys and as you can see I've added a few more bits of detail around here I still haven't done all of them because I thought I'd show you guys how I do them But first let's do a quick tour and I'll show you guys what I've been up to So starting off we have this nice little heart design right here Which I really really enjoy and I made this nice birch tree here And I thought it would be a nice separator from you know this well area And like the entrance to the village and the marketplace that'll be over here And I added added a nice little hedge gate here uh, there's another one right here that will pass between these two buildings and I think it's going to be really really atmospheric in here and I added some moss and stuff around here a nice little table got some lanterns in this town so you have small lampposts like these two now heading up this path here this takes us to a nice little herb garden so we have maybe some herbs growing right here I'm using acacia saplings with strings above so they don't grow and then we have some sweet berry bushes and and some what is this this is allium i think yeah and now continuing i added some nice custom trees around here and now by the front of the village i added a nice little flower field right here and then we have a custom tree here and on the topic of custom trees i thought i would show you guys how i build these so this is a type of um, yeah it's azalea leaves with the uh, spruce fence and i think these look really really cool so i'm going to build another one here and i'll show you guys the process now start Starting off here, we want to tower up a few blocks with spruce fence. Then when we get to about this high, we're going to place some leaves. Uh, you can use flowers and regular sailor leaves. I would mix them up because I think that looks the best. And then coming down here, you're just going to fill this in with more leaves. This is pretty much the entire process. And then we can extend on these sides here just a little bit, something like that. I think I want this one to go lower, something like this. And that is going to have to be it for this type of tree. I think it's a really, really cool one. So so try this out and tell me what you think. And now moving on to a good old spruce tree. So I'm going to make this one a pretty tall one. So I want the trunk to be pretty sturdy. So this one's going to be a bit bigger. So just building up pretty high for this one. I guess this is a pretty nice height. Then we're extending with three fences right up like this. Now you are going to have to do a bed clutch to get down. But that's fine because I'm so good at Minecraft. Just kidding guys, I had feather falling so I'd be fine even if I failed that one. Now I'm going to make this a pine tree so the branches aren't going to be super big. So I'm just going to add some smaller ones as I go up this tree here. And the branches are going to get smaller the higher up we go. So on the top here I'm just going out with some dark oak fences. And there we go, we got a leafless tree built up. Now it's time to add our leaves. So just extending leaves down like this just helps with that kind of hanging effect that spruce trees have. So that's a good tip for y'all. And there we go guys, our spruce tree is complete. Make sure to send me a picture if you try this one out because I'd really love to see the results. 
Now keep in mind using a bushy leaves type of texture pack helps a lot with these trees so I'd really recommend that. And that, my friends, is going to have to be it for today's episode. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe for even more, and follow me on Twitter for news and updates. And if you want to keep watching today, you can watch any of these videos on screen right now. But anyways, that is going to have to be it. Peace out, guys.